There are a lot of kids that play out here on Ellis Street, especially now that it's so hot. Take a look for yourself at this sinkhole. It's about 12 feet wide and at points five feet deep. I was facing there because I want to show them how bad it is. Louis Chevrez is only catching grief, worrying about his stepkids around this sinkhole that he says reopened back in May. We don't care about us. It's for the kids where they can have fun for the summer. It's kind of hard. It's especially hard for the family who lives in front of the hole. Angela Soto has four kids under 12 years old. I got an autistic son that can't come outside because he is nonverbal and we scared for him to fall in the hole because he think it's a swimming pool. And to make matters worse, she says the city sent her this final notice. You must hire a registered plumber immediately to make the necessary repairs. Do you know how much it might cost to fix something like this? I know in one of the letters they said like $18,000. Money she says her family doesn't have. And neighbors were quick to point out this is the second time the sinkholes opened up. In fact, I covered the first time back in 2015. This is the hole. You can see just how deep it is. We talked to the Philadelphia Water Department tonight. They say the sinkhole formed because of defects in lines leading to the city's sewer system. That means they deem this a private plumbing issue and homeowners here are responsible. The department does say a crew will be out tonight covering and securing the sinkhole in the meantime. Reporting in Kensington, Keith Jones, NBC 10 News.